Hello everyone and welcome to my channel More to Chess. In this video, I covered the topic Rook versus King and Pawn. To understand it very clearly, let me first categorize the Rook ending for you. We can divide the Rook endings into three parts, as you can see here. The first is Rook versus Pawns. Second is Rook versus Rook, and the last one is Double Rook endings. In this video, I cover the first one, Rook versus Pawns. Now this category can be further divided into four parts as you can see here and in this video I discuss the first position having three important positions and principles. The first one is rook versus one pawn. So let's start. Okay the first position is very basic and based on the principle known as cutting off idea. Okay so this is the position here you can see the best move is rook to g5 the rook cuts off black king that's why it is known as cutting off now the black king is unable to support the pawn so black plays c3 rook to g3 hitting the pawn instead of the move rook g3 you can also play king g7 which is also winning because after c2 white can play rook g1 king d5 and rook c1 winning the pawn but white played rook g3 now c2 rook c3 and again white one so cutting off is a very important fighting method in various rook endings uh, the important thing to know is that the last chance for the cutting off idea is on the rook's fifth rank if the pawn is further advanced then it did not work okay so next position this is the second position you can pause the video and try to find the solution by yourself in this position you can see the pawn is not advanced enough to cut off so the question is how to proceed here still the only winning move here is rook to g5 as it not only prevents the king from advancing quickly but also the black king have to waste some moves like king c6 king b5 king b4 to support the pawn further so instead of rook g5 if white play king to g7 then it is a blunder because it allows the body check move king to e5 known as shouldering away means here black take control of the f6 square which is the shortest path for white king now white king have to waste some more moves to reach the pawn here white can play three moves rook c8 king g6 and king f7 I discussed only the move rook c8 and king g6 king f7 is very slower let's first discuss rook c8 attacking the pawn king d4 king f6 c4 here white have again two choices king f5 and king e6 first discuss king e6 c3 king d6 king to d3 king c5 king d2 king b4 c2 king b3 c1 equals to queen and the position is drawn so instead of king e6 let's see king f5 c3 king f4 king to d3 king to f3 c2 king f2 king d2 rook d8 check king to c3 instead of king c3 you cannot play the move king to c1 because it is a mistake and it loses instantly by the move king e2 king to b2 rook b8 check now again both king c3 and king c1 loses after king c1 rook c8 king b2 then king d2 and if you play king c3 here then rook c8 check king b2 and king d2 so it also loses here so that's why instead of king c1 the only move to play is king c3 now rook c8 check again king d2 rook d8 check king c3 and the position is drawn because you cannot play king e2 because of the move c1 equals to queen it is also draw so instead of rook c8 if white plays king to g6 then c4 rook c8 attacking the pawn king d4 king f5 and this position also draws eventually because the white king is very late so in this position we can see the only best move is rook to g5 now black will play king c6 king c6 instead of king c6 if black plays c4 then the same position as uh, we can we have already seen in the earlier position cutting off idea 
so king c6 king g7 king to b5 because it is the only path for black king now king f6 king to b4 king to e5 c4 king to d4 c3 king to d3 because rook to c5 is not available here king b3 and rook c5 and white won here okay so let's move on to the last position of the game this is the third position uh, also known as shouldering away this example is very important for understanding many rook versus pawn endings here white's rook is excellently placed on the first rank controlling the pawns queening square uh, of g1 from a distance if black plays f3 f2 with the idea of king g3 g2 then white's king will arrive at e2 just in time and winning the game black can do much better here by playing by shouldering away white's king even though this involves blocking his own pawn so f3 seems to be a very reasonable move here but it loses the game as we can see after f3 king c5 f2 king to d4 king f3 opposing the white king king d3 king to g2 king e2 controlling the f1 square and eventually winning the game so f3 is not a good move here to play so the best move here is to play king f3 king f3 is also referred uh, a motive as a body check the main idea is to stop white king as much as possible while also promoting the pawn after king f3 white play king c5 the most active move here remember the idea body check king to e3 instead of king e3 if you want, if you want to stop the white king by playing king to e4 then it does not work here because after king c4 king e3 king c3 king to e2 king d4 f3 rook a2 check king e1 king e3 attacking the f3 pawn and also strong hold of f2 pawn loses the game for black so king e4 is a bad move king e2 is also a bad move here because after king e2 king d4 f3 rook a2 check king to e1 and king e3 the same idea of attacking the pawn and also capturing the f2 square so the only best move here is king to e3 shouldering away white king now rook a3 check here instead of rook a3 check white can also play the move king to c4 and king to d5 let's first see rook a3 check now uh, black can play king e4 here instead of king e4 if black played king to e2 then it loses instantly with the idea of king d4 f3 rook a2 check as we have already seen king e1 king e3 so black have to play king e4 now king c4 f3 rook a8 f2 uh, queening the pawn now rook e8 check f3 rook f8 check king e2 and the game is drawn so instead of rook a3 if white played the move king to c4 then f3 king c3 f2 king c2 king e2 and the game is drawn and if white plays king to d5 then f3 rook a3 check king e2 king to e4 f2 rook a2 check king to e1 king e3 now here the only best move is promoting with knight with a check king to d3 only best move now knight g3 rook g2 attacking the knight and now knight f1 the position this position is also drawn so that's all for this video there will also be part 2 so if you enjoyed then hit like and subscribe thank you